hello guys uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so we have done the project on the dbms mini project like uh, covid uh, bed uh, slot uh, booking system so where we have added all the functionalities except the store procedures so i thought you guys will be doing it but uh, many people requested me to do the particular video on the store procedure so because of the college requirements so and many people are uh, doing the calls messages like this error that error but everything i have provided from my end there is nothing like uh, you will be getting the errors so before uh, sending your query make sure that you look all the all the particular videos of my channel like you see here i have added the project some of the bugs i have uh, resolved in this particular video and uh, how to install everything i have provided okay so it's your uh, responsibility that you need to check my channel if uh, i have provided any other extra information then if then to at the distinct age you need to message me like a uh, particular errors or like that i will be helping you so i cannot reply for anyone i cannot reply for everyone okay because you're doing a number of people are doing the mails all those things few people are calling all those things so it is not a good way so try your best at the end moment to come to me okay so you see here uh, already i have added the uh, the particular stuffs also like many people said they are getting uh, the things like uh, like some of the errors like uh, none type object none type i said go to the database table and uh, delete all the particular data from it then uh, try freshly uh, start inserting the data you people won't be getting any errors okay so these things you need to understand okay so you just check the channel and uh, i'll be providing the particular a few uh, like uh, suggestions inside my community stuffs so you need to check over all that okay so uh, let's uh, complete the uh, see what is store procedure how you can add with this particular project and a little bit few bugs are there that also i'll resolve in this video so let's see how can be done that one so first you need to start your xamp server so here i have added the started the particular server so once you started the server i'll come back to my code so this was the code same which i have provided you guys so i'll just run the particular program over here i'll just run this particular main file over here and here the database name is the covid which is already you have known everything you know uh, now i'll just come back to my chrome over here so here i'll just uh, tell the php my dear want to open the php localhost php my admin okay so i'll just uh, open the php my admin so i'll just uh, open here okay so let's open the php my admin so once i open the php my admin so the particular database is which so the data database is the covid one so basically what is the store procedure here is store procedures are something like we are storing a few of the information like we are uh, uh, like suppose i want to get all the data from the this particular table in a very fractions of second and the speed execution should happen at that time i can go ahead with the store procedures so suppose we have a table that is a users over here okay so i have the users table so here i have the two database here but the uh, two uh, details we have so i want to create a procedure something like when i execute that one i need to get all the data present in the particular table it can be this particular table or it can be this particular table and anything or it's want to it can be a trigger table anything okay so now let's create a store procedure for the user table so open the uh, php my admin over here the particular uh, the table of yours okay so i'll just open this is the covid thing which i need to uh, provide the particular table right the, the particular store procedure i need to add it over here so i'll click on to the covid over here so then i'll just click on to the operations no routines over here okay so we need to create a routine so there are two ways to create a procedure you can write a structure query language over here and you can just execute it so better easy best, uh, easiest way to uh, do it with the routine over here so i'll just click on to the routines so here i'll just click on to the add routine so once i add the routine so it is asking what is the procedure name you need to give so the syntax of the procedure will be create procedure and the procedure name when you are doing the structure query language but here we can directly pass the uh, particular procedure name so this time i'll just uh, give the procedure name as i'll just tell uh, the get users okay so i'll just uh, make the procedure name as a get users so this one procedure so we have with the two parameter we have in in out as well as well as the out parameter so i don't want to provide any parameter startingly so i'll just tell i need to have without parameters i need to create a particular uh, procedure so here i'll just tell select i want to select star from i want to get all the data from the users table here so let's tell user over here i'll just put like this i'll click on to the go over here okay done you can see the procedure has been created over here okay so this is the easiest way to create a procedure now if i click on to this execute i want to run how you will be executing if i just click on to the execute over here you can see 
all the things i am getting it when i click on to the execute i am getting all the data over here so all the data whichever it is been present all the data has been coming so you can see i have a users so whatever the users are there i am getting all the users thing inside my table if i click on to the procedure so if i just execute this particular procedure within a fraction of a second i will be able to get all this one so suppose if i want to call this particular uh, function anywhere i can just use this one call as well as a get users okay so you can just create like this the particular procedure part so this is without parameter so now let's see with one particular parameter how we can call it over here so again i'll just click on to the procedure i'll just click on to the add routine over here so once i click on to the add routine here it is asking me the routing name so now what i need to do here is so i'll just close a little bit so here i want to uh, suppose we have a booking patients we have like this booking patient so now uh, what i need to get here is uh, whenever i give the particular uh, h code where is the h code whenever if i want to get the particular data from the patient so if i just pass the h code as an input parameter i need to get all other uh, particular things from here so we have a srfid bed type we have and uh, what else we have we have the hospital code as the input i'll be passing it and sp02 p name p phone and p address we have right so we'll get all these uh, thing over inside this one so I'll just call which is the pay, table name is booking patient now. So now I'll just create one procedure for it. I'll just click on to the plus. I'll just click on to the new procedure. I'll say this time I want to get the particular uh, get patient details. Okay. P A T. I'll just tell get capital P A I E N T A patient details. Okay. So this is the procedure name. So now it is an in input parameter I'm passing. What is the input I'll be taking? I'll be taking as an input as a H code over here. Okay. So I'll just click the particular uh, <coughs> the particular I'll be taking as an a H code. So just a second. I have just added here. <clears throat> okay. So now what I need to do here is I need to provide what is the length of it. Suppose I'll just give the character of 50th length. Okay. So the type I'll just give it as a where character. Okay. So here it'll be passing the input over here. So this is the one input I am just taking from the user now. So now it is asking me the add the particular. Now I need to write the particular uh, SQL function over here. So I'll just tell here as a select. I'll just tell select. Uh, I want to get the particular. Uh, patient name and I need to get the patient uh, phone number then I need to get the patient uh, address also so before that I'll just get the SRF ID then I need to get the bit type of the patient what is the bit type and I need to get the P address of it I want to get the particular uh, thing from here from where I need to get from the particular table name that is nothing but a booking patient from the booking patient I need to get it so then I need I'm just passing the parameter here as a H code so I need to just tell where the particular hospital code should match with the provided input parameter it is h code which i have been given you can use any name over here i can just tell i'll just tell inp over here okay so whatever the input i'll be providing it should get over here i'll just put the colon and click on to the go over here you can see even you can just you can see i'm getting the particular uh, thing over here create procedure get patient details in parameter i'm passing so like this also i can just i can just copy this one and even easily you can just execute this particular uh, you can just create the particular table with this particular command with this particular sql query so this is already has been there no need of clicking onto the go if you want to create like this if, they, if the external show uh, ask you to uh, create a particular procedure with the sql thing itself you can just provide the same uh, thing whatever it has been written so if you just click onto the go automatic how the get users has been created this will get created over here okay so sorry the get patient details now i click onto the get patient details no so now if i just click onto the go right now so if i just click onto the go it has been done now if i just click on go to the procedures so now i want to execute the get users over here now I'll just click on to the execute so it is coming all this thing you can know so now i want to execute the get patient details if i just click on to the execute it is asking me the input so again asking me the input so if i just tell so i want to get the particular uh, uh, row where the h code is uh, the hospital code is bbh01 suppose if i i think it is there so when i click on to here you can see the bbh h code all this thing it is running it is giving me the phone name and it is in the phone number srfid bed type as well as a bangalore so everything has been provided if i just go back to my booking patient details so you can see if i just tell bbh0 uh, all the particular karthik row has been fetching over here so you can see the uh, store procedure is very fast it uh, uh, reduces the particular time and even we can get the particular uh, query in this particular manner so now i want to get i want to get this uh, mat123 i want to suppose i want to give the input as mat123 same so i'll just go to the get patient details if i just execute this particular uh, sorry if i just execute where is it here if i just execute the patient details now i will just pass the value as mat123 if i click on the go you can see that particular row is been getting fetched okay so like this all the things will 
go on so if i just tell again if i want to if i just suppose the thing is the input i am just providing that is not there itself so where it is here if it is not there if i just tell yeah 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 which is not there when i am there it is not returning anything so we can see how we have passed the without parameters and with parameter sql procedure has been created so i have created a true procedure if you want to create a n number of procedure you can create with this particular uh, same fashion so i have created only for the booking patient as well as the users so more than enough two procedures we have been added over here so this particular uh, sql query as uh, the particular thing i will be updating uh, the new particular table i will be uh, so all, everything I'll clear. I'll clear all the data from my table, database table. Then I'll uh, update you the SQL file. Please you know, import that, or delete the old SQL file. Just uh, go to the import thing. You know how to import the stuff. So here, so whichever the newly I will be updating inside my GitHub account. So I can just select the particular uh, SQL file and you can uh, export the particular import. You can do it. Then you can show it to your externals. Okay, there will be no errors in that one. And one more thing, I'll be one of my one of the person who have been uh, one person has been uh, sent the particular uh, uh, what the ER diagram. Okay, so ER diagram also I'll be updating it. So I think I have provided you the ER diagram. The thing here I was not provided was the schema diagram. Schema diagram I have not given you. This person has done the schema diagram. So some person name is uh, I don't. So Darshan uh, bid up or something, he did the schema diagram. So I'll just uh, upload this particular thing. Just uh, you can uh, create your uh, design inside uh, the Google, wherever you find easy. So just uh, enter in the Google create schema diagram. Then just provide these attributes, whatever you have written and just execute it. Just uh, download and create the particular report. And don't ask me for the report. I have not done. I have provided you the schema. Now I have provided you the ER diagram also. Uh, just download it and do it by yourself so it is one thing you can just uh, do it at least you can do it by your end so that is one thing so almost all the topics has been covered suppose if i just run the particular program so the particular website so this is how the website is been looking okay so all the things are reading if i just click on the patient details all the things works okay so the thing is working fine exactly all the stuff is uh, getting perfectly and uh, wherever you like which if you want to do any changes you can do it by yourself suppose one person was saying like uh, when i'm adding the data of the particular uh, patient whenever i'm uh, just inserting the data so after the exactly uh, under particular time the data is not getting shown so i think it is uh, that is coming uh, under the particular uh, this particular add hospital information so when the hospital information is been added so it is not exactly visible uh, at the right hand side so because of that it is not getting so because uh, it might uh, because the thing is not getting so you can just create one new function over here so to just display the data you can create one new function create a new function create a new routine and create one separate html file to display the data so how we have been displayed uh, for the patient over here so you can see hospital uh, patient details something it was there so details.html page okay so you can see this is a patient details right so inside my video go to my channel uh, I have I have shown you in this uh, seven hours of course somewhere I have shown you how to create this patient details and details.html page whenever I have created you have seen how to display the particular patient details in a separate uh, particular routing page same way if you want to display the data in the separate uh, routing page or separate URL same procedure which I have explained you in my video same as it is you create one HTML file create a particular one particular function so in the main.py file if I just tell control F if I just tell details you can see patient details how the function name is created patient details routing added as well as i created i just got by srfid i am just uh, so it is no need of uh, putting this one uh, this uh, particular uh, print statement no need so which uh, according to the srfid you can just display the particular data inside the details.html page so this is how this is only the one code and details.html you need to create and uh, you can separate you can in the separate page you can display the particular data it's completely your choice okay so i hope all the things i have covered so in the, even the store procedures were left store procedure is been created okay so now i will update the particular code so i will be create i will be providing you the sql file new sql file kindly uh, use uh, that particular sql file okay so that is uh, the thing i wanted you from you guys so then uh, i hope uh, you have enjoyed the particular video so all the topics has been covered store procedures has been added so you can just uh, check my description in this video access the new whether this particular code as well as the new sql file which i will be importing it and schema diagram as well as the er diagram is also will be updated inside my github account okay so take care bye bye and i'll see you in my next video please subscribe to my channel many of the people have not subscribed please subscribe it okay take care bye bye all the best for your uh, externals